everyone, how are we all doing today? I hope you're having a really lovely chilled out Sunday morning. It's not Sunday for me today, I didn't actually film this Sunday. I've got no idea what day it actually is. Hmm, I think it's Wednesday. Let's see. Tuesday! Fancy that. <laughs> for me it's like the Saturday and Sunday and then a blur of days in between and then suddenly it's the weekend again. And time has just been going so quickly recently, I just can't seem to catch up. So yesterday is Tuesday and it's a beautiful sunny day. I wasn't going to vlog today, I was going to put it off for another day, but then it was so sunny this morning that I thought I really want to get out in the garden and enjoy some sunshine. And I looked at the weather forecast for the rest of the week and it was just rain cloud central and I just thought, well, you know, seize the day. So today is going to be the day that I vlog and bring you along with me. I've actually got a really exciting update for you today with my bedroom. So as you guys know, this was the last room that we actually decorated when we moved in. Um, and it's been a bit of a, it's been a process to be honest. I've not really known what I wanted it to look like. We've kind of just gone for a very neutral, just very light airy feel for the entire house. We both really like just like light, bright, airy kind of vibes, you know? Um, so that's what we've gone with. We just basically painted everything white and thought that later on down the line, if we want to jazz it up a little bit, then we could. So like downstairs, we jazzed up the walls with green. Again, oh, <laughs> again, a very neutral color, but it, I don't know, it just works. I really like downstairs, but up here, was a different story and I've already been blabbering for two minutes <laughs> so far so I thought that I would share an outfit of the day and also show you my new update at the same time. So here is the much anticipated redo of our bedroom so I got a nice radiator cover and popped it in front of the radiator. The radiator is actually really small I think it only comes to here but this was the smallest size I could get for the size radiator we had um, I think it looks really nice and I've been in debate with myself and Dom for ages about having a TV in the bedroom. It's so unlike us. I mean, flashback to New Zealand and before that we didn't even have a TV in general, like in our entire lives. We even, when we moved into the flat in Queenstown, we got her to take the TV stand and TV away. We were so averse to TV. But since living here and just settling into my own rhythm and routine, I've really enjoyed watching YouTube channels and Netflix show on a big screen, so I usually watch downstairs. But with my health, um, you know, being constantly up and down, some days I just really want to not be folded up on the sofa, I just want to be able to relax. And some mornings I'm just struggle a little bit and I think just being able to take it slow and watch something in bed before I get up would be really nourishing and nice. So anyway, I won the battle and we got a little TV for the bedroom. And to be honest, I think it actually looks okay. <sighs> If I had the money, I would totally have got the Samsung frame, but the price of them is just not justifiable at all. So I got one with a little silver frame around it, and then I thought like I could put nice pictures on. I should have probably done that for the video. Maybe I'll, I'll show you what it looks like. So this is a better example of what it looks like, and I think that with the right picture, obviously I've got to um, find some more. Ooh, where are we going here? <laughs> I don't know, I just think it could look really nice and just like, picture frame I guess and then I've got a debate about this back wall so I will share that with you as well in a second. The other thing that I'm wanting to do to finish this off is get a little neck curtain so like the curtains here but on this wall to cover the closet. One day we'd like to get someone come in and redo this closet for us but as it stands I mean it, it's functional it does what we actually want it. Hello. <laughs> it does what we want it to do so Dom's just got his clothes I've got my clothes and then down here it's usually where we put Echo's litter tray on an evening because he's still sleeping in here with us. He's got his little scratching post, I've got my paperwork and then that's where I keep like my underwear and garments like that and that's the loft ladder, <laughs> the joys of a small house. But I just think covering this up could look really really nice and just make the room flow because at the minute it's like everything's beautiful and white and then it's like doom, black hole. <laughs> so as you can see we do need to decorate the wallpaper on this side is peeling away from the wall um, but we just decided to paint over it this time. And this is my outfit of the day. My jumper's a little bit creased so forgive me but I've just got my little slippers on that I got from Tesco. Some bamboo socks from Morrison's. <laughs> this is like a supermarket outfit but these were from Tesco a long long time ago. I can't actually remember if these were from a charity shop or if I bought them from Tesco myself, I don't know. And then this jumper is new, let me know what you think of it. Um, it did come very creased and so I'm still working out the crease here. <laughs> 
but this was from Everything Five Pounds, so I'll speak about fashion again in a second. But we also got this little cute mirror, but I think there's a problem with it. So if I walk away, I don't know if it's gonna pick it up on camera. It goes really blurry, like it's like one of those wobbly mirrors that you get in like kids' play areas. So I'm not entirely sure. I think this is gonna have to go back. If you're wondering, this was from BNQ, as was this, and that was from Curry's PC World. <laughs> I have got some beautiful flowers here and I do want to style this a little bit better in the future but for now I've just basically put my favourite candles so I've got this one that I mentioned in my last video by Coastal Melts and another one of my favourite candle companies is The Wild Botanist and then I've got one of my beautiful crystals um, on the end and then we do need to still oh, give me spatial awareness <laughs> we do need to sort this wire out because it's not a very good situation really but all in all, that was my biggest update and I'm just so pleased with how it looks. I think it looks so much better. And then this is what I'm gonna get changed into later on if I do do some gardening. Can't be gardening in cream pants, really. I get the feeling this is gonna be a very chatty video, so I can only apologize, but I do think you guys enjoy it. Oh my gosh, some really noisy people come past this house with their music blaring out. And I think when you go through like a small village, it's just so rude to just have like really noisy music on um, anyway. That being said, <laughs> I do think it's gonna be a more chatty kind of video. I've got a lot to catch you guys up on, but that was my main update. I'm really happy with it. And I want to just add in here, a note onto my decluttering video that I made. I don't know yet if it was a little bit misunderstood what I was talking about with fashion. I think I've decided now that I'm not gonna do like proper hauls on my channel. Like some of you pointed out, it's not really sustainable and it's not good to kind of promote the fashion industry because it's a very damaging system. Um, so what I'm gonna do instead is share organically things that I buy and things that I enjoy, give you proper reviews about them and leave links, you know, in case you guys want to go and look at them yourself. Um, not everybody is in the same financial position and that's basically what I was trying to come across, what get across in that video was that um, it's not always possible to buy from ethical, ethical brands and sometimes charity store clothing is not up to the same quality as when you buy something new. But I've found some really great purchases in charity shops, so it's not always the case. But that being said, at the minute, charity shops are all closed, which makes it very difficult, but they are gonna open up again. So I'll be doing a bit of everything. I'll be buying some new things. I'll be buying some ethical things. I'll be thrifting or charity shop shopping, as you say in the UK. A uh, bit of mixture of everything. I did go to Everything Five Pounds and I got this jumper and I'm not entirely sure now, thinking about it, what that shop is. So it's just like an online retailer where everything is five pounds. And I assumed it was like fast fashion brands that had finished with that collection and then they sell them on and then the shop sells them on. But let me know if I'm wrong because I thought that was a really good business model and I was gonna get behind and support that. Anyway, so this cost five pounds, which I think is a really good price. I actually got a really nice dress. I'll show you that as well. So I got this from there as well. I think it's still in stock. Um, it's got like a cute little button detail along the front there, which I'm not a massive fan of myself, but I bought this dress so that it could be a jumper dress. So I thought with a jumper like this one underneath, they're on top even, and then the beautiful flowy skirt underneath. I just really like the pattern of it. Somebody did say that if you buy from fast fashion brands, you're more likely to keep buying clothes and throwing them away and just doing declutters all the time, which is not what I want to do. So I'm just trying to be sensible. So I'm not just going crazy and buying everything that I can ever think of. And if I buy something and it's not right, I'll be returning it. Um, but you know, it's about being intentional and I think you can still be intentional with what you're doing and not just buying like crazy. You know, I, I am still trying to create a capsule wardrobe. I'm just trying to do it in a way that I can personally afford. So anyway, I thought I would just put that in here for anybody who is a bit confused about my message. Some of you were like, yes, we really want clothing hauls, but you know, I'm not a fashionista in any sense of the word, but I would really enjoy to be able to share with you guys some more comfortable clothing and I'm looking forward to spring and summer where we can just like dress up a little bit more and <laughs> wear a little bit less. Um, it's cold out there today. I don't know what the temperature is. I'm forever losing my phone. <sighs> Does anybody else do this thing where you finish with your phone and you just like throw it somewhere and then you're just like, where's it gone now? <laughs> oh dear me, let's see. Oh, 
8 degrees right now and it's going to get to highs of 12 but cloudy all day so I think I'll need a coat when I go out there. Um, hmm, we'll see. We'll see how the day goes. Ah, oh, that's what I wanted to share with you. My wallpaper samples. This is bold, this is bold for me. So when I went to VNQ I picked up a sample. I'm going to turn this TV off because I feel like it's throwing how it looks. But I picked up some wallpaper samples from BNQ and I don't know, I can't decide if this green colour looks nice or not. I'd really like your guys' opinions. Hello Tiger, what are you doing? You coming to say hello? Are you hiding? Echo, where's Echo gone? Where's he gone? Oh my gosh, you made me jump. <laughs> so I put this mirror in and as some of you know if you watch my vlogs a lot, when I had the other mirror that fell down the stairs, Echo was so spooked about <laughs> the other kitten that he could see in the mirror. I'll try and capture it at some point today but he only really does it when he's a bit crazy. Um, but he's been loving it, it's just spilt water all over the carpet. Oh, Eki go go. <laughs> but he runs up and he looks at himself and he just, just flips everywhere and runs all around. He's so cute. So what I was going to say before my battery died was I found this in BNQ when I was looking for my mirror and my radiator cover and I loved the colour. Not so much the pattern, but the pattern was cute too. I think if it didn't have the woodland creatures on, it would be a bit more, I don't know, grown up. Um, but I am still quite partial, I think it's really cute, like the woodland theme. But I got this and then I went to the range to look at mirrors and to get some of the DIY stuff and I picked this one up and it was only when I got home that I realised it's the exact same pattern in a different colour. So I must really like this pattern anyway because it's the only two wallpaper samples that I actually picked up. But I've decided, oh gosh this is hard to do, it was hard to do one handed. I think that this, I don't know what you call it, taupe? purpley colour. I just don't think it's right. It reminds me a lot of the colour that the people who had this house before had and it's just a really kind of just dull colour. It really drains the colour. Whereas I feel like this one kind of adds something to the room. I don't really know. I feel like I've been stood in this mirror for so long like looking like oh what would it look like if the whole wall was this colour. I don't really know. So I think I'm gonna get some samples from online. If you can recommend any really good wallpaper stores then let me know because I'm on the hunt and just let me know what you think would be right. So obviously we like neutral, we like it to be light and bright but I wouldn't mind a pattern on this wall. Nothing bold, nothing out there but just like neutral. I can't decide if green would be a good idea or if we should stick to like cream and white. I don't really know. I feel like it's quite daring of me to go for a pattern these days. I really don't do things like that, like I'm not like a bold person at all but I don't know, I just feel like something behind the telly could just look really nice. Let me know what you think anyway. I like your opinions. <laughs> and how pretty are these flowers? So I got a new bunch yesterday from Tesco. I keep thinking about signing up to one of those flower subscription services, but I'm worried they would come with lilies and like really toxic plants for Echo. So I'm not sure, but they're just so pretty. I really like them. <laughs> so Dom's just finishing off the Etsy orders for the day, but as you can see from this skyscraper high pile, <laughs> We decided to change things up recently and in the last few days we've been getting up at 7 and wrapping the orders rather than doing it on an evening. I actually forgot what it was like to have an evening, like it feels really strange to me now to just sit there at like 7 o'clock like what should I do now? Because we used to do the orders in an afternoon so we'd start at like 4 or 5 um, but then we'd end up having tea in the middle and then we wouldn't get to bed until like 10, 11 and then we'd go to bed at 12 and then wake up too late and it was just like we were just constantly chasing our tails and it was just not good. So for the next few weeks we're going to try doing it earlier and it's like a proper work day then. So it's 12 o'clock now so I'm starting this vlog pretty late but we had more than 50 orders this morning which I am so grateful for. So for any of you guys that don't know we actually own a little Etsy store. It's not so little anymore actually. We're actually really proud of the success that we've had with it and it's such a joy to be able to share crystals and incense with the world. Um, a lot of what we sell is 
I don't know, it's like beautiful little gemstone crystals and it's nice and humble because it reminds us when we started out our necklace store and we would just buy like a few crystals from other Etsy stores so it's nice now that we can be the provider of the crystals. I will have to show you guys some crystals that we've got at the minute so you can have a look um, and if you do want to support our store I will always have the link down in the description below because there are some really beautiful pieces on there and we're like literal crystal hoarders so <laughs> now it's like the best job that we could get because we both just love looking through all the crystals we buy and I'm always like looking at them when I'm packing them like oh I'm jealous of this one. <laughs> oh gosh I have not got the strength for vlogging anymore my arm is aching so much. <laughs> so here's an example of some of the things we sell this is a gorgeous amethyst crystal it's like a little cave I just think it's so beautiful I really like amethyst how beautiful it is when it catches the light. I could just spend my entire day looking at crystals. <laughs> we just got these in stock as well. So it's a pink Himalayan salt crystal lamp. And you can just imagine the beautiful glow once you light the little candle inside. You could even put like a pretend candle in as well. But pink Himalayan salts, <laughs> low echo, said to have some really amazing health benefits. And I don't know, I just think the beautiful glow that they give off is so relaxing on an evening. What do you reckon, Echo? Are you sulking? Are you tired? You look tired. Got a belly full of tuna fish now, haven't you? Welcome to one of the Etsy store cupboards that's full of boxes and incense sticks. So it's like a little sneaky behind the scenes peek into our lives. Ignore the board games that are there, but they're an important part of the puzzle to our life. So we have these beautiful little trays which you put incense on or you can put the cones. Are they called dupe cones? I can't really remember now. Um, but they're really beautiful with the tree of life on. And we've got these gorgeous um, slices. How beautiful is this? So again, you just get that nice little glow. Echo, you can't... No, come on. Out of here. <laughs> Out of here. Good boy. No, danger zone. I've shared these in the past as well, but these are book ends. So there'll be two of these that go together and you can basically have them together as one piece or put things in between like nice books or magazines and have them at each end of a shelf. They're just really, really beautiful. This in here is a Agate Slice Wind Chime, which is gorgeous and it makes the most amazing noise. You should have heard the racket when we were trying to take a picture of this. This is another one of my favourites. What are you doing in there? You're another one of my favourites too. <laughs> this is a selenite heart. So again, you just get that gorgeous glow and I really like selenite. I actually have a lamp of my own downstairs made of selenite. It's just so pretty and so beautiful. You little tinker. You know you're not supposed to be in here. <laughs> you know you're not supposed to be in here. Are you going to come out? You can't stand all over people's things. Come on, little boy. Out you come. You coming out? <laughs> You're not fussed, are you? Not fussed at all. Come on, you little rascal. It's like my little shadow, honestly. Oh. While I'm in here, I thought I would update you on the chaos that is our garden. Zoom in a little bit for you guys. As you can see, nothing has changed since my last gardening vlog. Um, and that's going to be my little potting shed that I'm going to go and spend some time in today. But we've still got a lot to do in this garden. <laughs> Oof. We like sitting here and looking out of this window. It's one of my favourite windows in the house. It's just so pretty. Can't go, we need cuddles. Mm. Go on then, off you go on your adventure. <laughs> so this room is our spare room, it's our second bedroom and it's become Dom's office. Um, it's pretty much his only space he's got in the entire house. I've decorated every other room. <laughs> I've still got my little mark, I've still got my little cushions, but he's turned it into his gaming room, which I'm so excited for him about. So he started doing, let me see if I can not massacre what this is called. It's called iRacing, which is like um, a virtual racing thing. <laughs> so. It's got like a steering wheel and full driving setup. So if you or your partner are interested in racing, if you like F1 and things like that, then I will leave Dom's YouTube channel below and it would mean the world to us if you went over and supported him on his new endeavor and his new adventure because he's just really enjoying himself. And so he does little streams 
um, and makes videos as well. So anyway, I thought I would just give him a little <laughs> sneaky promotion in here just in case any of you are interested or know anybody who loves watching racing. Um, I tried to go on it and I get motion sick really fast, like in general in a normal car. So in a normal car, you're moving but if you watch a screen that's stationary it makes me feel sick and it's something to do with the balance inside your ears with this i'm stationary but it's moving and i instantly i'm just like nope <laughs> it's so weird so weird let me know if you've ever tried it before like if you've got a brother or anybody who's you know had one of these machines because it's just weird i can't i just can't get used to it and it just plays on it for ages and i i can't even last five minutes so the sky has gone grey, Echo. It's gone grey. Should we go spend some time in our little potting shed? What are you doing? Echo. We really need to change this blind as well. I'm not a fan of Venetian blinds. I think it makes this room really dark, so... And Echo loves this stick. This was what I was alluding to earlier, so I just try not to come in here, or if I do, I like put my blinders on because it's just really insulting to my eyes. <laughs> I hate black, I really hate wires, oh my gosh, it's just chaos, but it makes him happy and like I said, it's his only room. Are you quite finished making all of that racket? <laughs> it's his only room in the house and it makes me happy that he can do something that he's really passionate about and loves, so yes, that's a little... Spare room update. Chica, 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 chica. Do you want to come outside, Echo? Do you want to come outside into the shed? <laughs> we can pop together. We nearly got outside, but Echo's food delivery just arrived. So not sponsored or affiliated in any way. I wish I was. Um, but this is the food that we get Echo. So he was due some more food. Pray for me because I've got literally no idea where all of this food is going to go. Because our freezer is tiny. And <laughs> it's really... An absolute mission. It's okay. So this is how it comes packed, which just means that it's, you know, not going to defrost and it's same day delivery. Well, not same day delivery, but the delivery of the day, you know, that they're supposed to. So these are still completely frozen. We only get the chicken flavour because it's the only one that Echo will eat. So this is the whisker licking chicken. He's coming over. He's interested. What is it, Echo? So it's... It fit within an inch of its life. We've actually got the flavours that Echo doesn't eat still, which I've tried to give to the RSPCA, but they won't... <sighs> They've been a bit funny about taking it because where you drop it off, there's no like refrigeration or freezers, and they don't seem interested in someone coming to pick it up from us or us dropping it off somewhere, so I don't really know. We are planning to get another kitten in the future, so we can maybe... <laughs> Ask Dom's mum and dad or someone like my dad um, who's got like a big chest freezer if we can borrow some freezer space for the few meals that Echo's got that he won't eat because maybe Dom calls him the next kitten Echo 2. <laughs> maybe Echo 2 will eat it. The only sacrifice we had to make was the ice cream so unfortunately, such a sad day, I'm going to have to eat ice cream for breakfast. I'm not complaining. <laughs> Such a funny shaped carton though, it's really hard to fit in. Such a small freezer, but as you can see, the entire top layer now is Echo's food, as is these two, and this is one of the ones he won't eat, so we'll call it a success. I was just trying to watch a video, and this is what Echo decides to do. Oh my gosh. <laughs> So I was trying to watch Meghan and Harry's announcement last night and I waited until nine o'clock. I was like, right, come on, let's do this. I can't get channels upstairs on the TV so I can only watch from like BBC iPlayer or Netflix and YouTube. Um, I didn't realize that so I took my laptop upstairs and I sorted it all out on ITV and I was waiting for it for like five minutes, watched all the adverts. I saw them both pop up and what does Echo do? Comes and walks all over my laptop. <laughs> basically exits out of every single thing that I had open and then I had to start all over again so I actually missed the beginning but he obviously wanted my attention bless him he's really funny and we've realized recently he likes to lay 
on our laptops because it's really warm and I think he really enjoys the heat. He's just so funny. <laughs> So as you can see it's actually quite big in here and it's beautiful and light so as long as we insulate the seeds well they should be okay in here but I do have a little bit of tidying up to do as you can see it's become our DIY dumping zone but I'd really like to put the seeds on the trays on the top of here I think that would look really nice and be really practical as well as our little potting shed this poor shed is falling down <laughs> There's no lintels above the doors or windows and so it's just having a very sad time, bless it. But for now it's doing the job. As you can see rain, oh, rain does come in. This is where Dom keeps his little snowboards as well. <laughs> also look away if you're scared of spiders, but look at these spiders webs. Ooh. So this entire window used to be covered by this and you should have seen the cobwebs. When I pulled it off, there's actually spiders up there. An authentic gardening experience. <laughs> As you can see, the windows are being reinforced by these pieces of wood, which is not ideal. So at some point this is going to come down, but I really like how it looks. Um, <laughs> and you know, we've got no use for this space other than as a potting shed right now and a storage space. So does the job. <laughs> To start the rebuilding of life The roads that lay open are many When the old one's gone under the knife And I can feel the sun on my So we've got a nice clear desk now, I managed not to flick bits of dust all over my coffee which is great, just don't look under here, <laughs> I'll just pick that up before I stand on it knowing me. So I got this way back, it must have been this time last year from Morrison's in the gardening section and to be honest it's lived out here for a little while now, it's swollen a bit from the water but I just imagined this in my cute little greenhouse, when I bought this we've been accepted on the other house that we were going to buy and I just, oh, I just could imagine it so well <laughs> but now I'm really looking forward to having this in my own greenhouse it looks really nice where it is in here as well this desk is actually from Dom's old bedroom so he used to have a dual monitor system and his keyboard um, to make music and things so it works really well in here as a DIY desk these are Dom's little projects so <laughs> I don't know if you can see inside the bag it's actually a Christmas tree cutting that he's planted and to be honest they're looking quite healthy so he's just put them in bags to help them but they've lived through the frost so we'll see maybe we'll be growing our own Christmas trees you never know <laughs> you can see this big dirty crack the entire way <laughs> down this shed so we'll hope it doesn't fall down on me while I'm in here oh dear me so I'll show you what I bought. So I've got no idea what I'm doing when it comes to gardening. This is a complete new thing to me. The last time I gardened properly was with my nano when I was like six. And I remember going into a greenhouse and planting tomatoes. Um, I've tried to grow a sunflower since then. And the most luck I've ever had is Echo's cat grass, which is pretty self-explanatory. <laughs> but I thought I'd give it a go. So I got these little containers and we're in the process of hoarding toilet roll tubes if we can get them from Echo before he gets to them so I can use you know recycled stuff and I want to be able to plant them in the ground so I'm gonna try where possible not to use plastic but we'll see how that goes so I got these little pots who knows if they're what I'm supposed to use so they just look like this and then I've got a mixture of seeds so we've got cat grass which oh, I'm already used to growing but I want to grow in some outside as well and then I also got cat mint so again I want to put this in a little pot so that Echo can enjoy it in the summer. We've got sunflowers of all varieties so I got these these darker ones as well. Whoops, I don't know if you can see them. 
So there's those, and then my nana gave me these ones, which were from a bouquet of flowers that she got, and it came with free seeds. So I've got three packets of sunflower seeds, <laughs> lots to experiment with. And I also picked up this wildflower packet, which I want to plant in the borders. So I might give that a go today, and some sweet peas. I think while I was watching Fashion Mumblers vlogs, who, to be honest, it's been great because she's got really into gardening recently and I've been trying to find the motivation to do myself. So she's kind of inspired me today. Um, sweet Pea, she said they need like a long plant pot, but I don't have any long plant pots. So this could be interesting. <laughs> she kind of hoarded um, kitchen roll tubes, but I don't know. Maybe I just need to get some taller pots. It says, well, it said online, it needs to be nine centimetres deep, but they're only five. So this is going to be a project. I'll just be excited if anything grows because <laughs> it's really fun when you grow your own, I want to say fruits and vegetables, but until I know if we're going to get a greenhouse or not, I'm kind of hesitating to buy all the seeds because it can get quite expensive. But I would really like to grow tomatoes, um, maybe cucumber, potatoes, onions. I feel like those things are a little bit easier. So we could try carrots as well in buckets, I guess. I don't know, we'll tune in next time and maybe I'll have broadened my horizons. Um, so that was my little garden centre haul. No, it's not. I also got this beauty. Uh, it's probably so impractical. Dom was like, you know it's going to rust, don't you? I was like, yes. <laughs> but beautiful little watering can. I say little, it's ginormous. Probably too big for in here, really. So, so far I've done a lot of procrastinating and not a lot of gardening, so I best get these little gloves mucky and get planted. <laughs> avid gardener you're probably watching this like what is she doing it's trial and error and i'm not worried about it i'm just gonna see what happens a little experiment so i don't know if they're supposed to be watered but i'm gonna take them outside give them a quick water with the watering can <laughs> and hope for the best that's all we can do at this point right so uh where are they now i've lost them oh dear i'm gonna plant these next which are a mixture of wildflowers, it says to plant them in March to May. Um, sow thinly in rows 30 centimetres apart, cover lightly with fine soil. Seedlings appear 14 to 28 days. It's a lot of anxiety of waiting. <laughs> Thankfully these ones come with a little, um, what Jimmy Jig these things, which the others didn't do, so yeah. Anyway, I've planted two things of sunflowers. A row of three, like just literally three sweet peas because I am adamant that they're not going to be deep enough for them. And we'll see how this little project goes because I might get some more plants and keep trying. Both neighbours are really good gardeners so I really hope they can't hear this vlog because they'll just be like, what is she doing? <laughs> she doesn't even know what she's doing, that's the worst part. So I'm going to go and um, plant these and I can show you as well how the transplanted bulbs are doing it in the border because I think they're looking quite healthy though they might need a little bit of attention as well. It's nice to be outside today. I, it was actually too hot in what I was wearing before so a lot less bulky now. Mm. I'd love to know if you guys are gardening or how you started out gardening. Do you have any channels you can recommend or books or podcasts because I need as much information as I can. I'd really like to grow more fruit and vegetable of our vegetable vegetables of our own because I think it's a really nice thing to do and it's just such a great reward excuse my muddy finger I'm not scared to get my fingers dirty and those gloves just seemed a bit pathetic <laughs> so yeah 
I'd like to know if you enjoy this gardening content or if you don't so much enjoy the gardening content. I think it would probably be better if I had even the slightest clue what I was on about, but it's an adventure. You can come on it with me, can't you? There are loads of bulbs that have just popped up. I think I've got some purple ones of these in the house. There's all these daffodils, mini daffodils, so cute. And then these pretty flowers as well. I can't wait to get rid of all of this. <laughs> Dom's mum told me to make sure they're tucked in at night so they're nice and warm a bit of insulation so I've got some bubble wrap here that we use for Etsy orders so repurposed let's see what happens here <laughs> it's been a fun project if nothing else and I think looking at that sky that's good timing because that looks a bit ominous it looks like it's full of rain the beginning of spring is such a weird time because it's like one day it's beautiful sunshine then it might rain for an entire week <laughs> but it's still nice that it's warm like 13 degrees i can deal with that that's you know that's nice it's a nice temperature it's a bit cool but it feels like fresh but i'm not actually really cold so that's nice all right we'll head back inside now visitors oh hello <laughs> have you woke up from your little nap oh it's tidy in here yeah so i put all the diy stuff below and I put my little plants to bed. We'll see what happens. What's a K? It's like a K ration, but a K experiment. A K. A K experiment? <laughs> <laughs> Not quite. <laughs> just stop there. <man. laughs> so when we're in here, we can just let Echo be. I actually found this stand. I don't know if it's why it was here or if we left. No, that's it. not the bottom of the table. It's brilliant though, look. <laughs> Holds it right in place. We could just get the door, it doesn't open it, so. <laughs> Your um, little tree things are coming along well, don't you think? I don't know, that's how they look when they went in there, so they, they look I'm scared of them. So how long has it been? Three months? Um, when was Christmas? Who knows? <laughs> I don't even know what day of the week it is. Oh, in March, December. Three months, so three months, they would have died by now if they were going to die, right? Not necessarily. <laughs> <laughs> that one last year on my windowsill took all summer before it decided it was mm. going to die now. Adventure cat, adventure cat. Look at all that stuff down there, oh my gosh. Loves investigating places he's never been. It's like a whole new world out here for him, really. Just had to go get my camera. I was having a much needed lay down and <laughs> Echo's been so cute. <laughs> oh gosh. Yeah. It's not a good look, Dom. I'm getting got. <laughs> Ow. So basically got his entire body inside the tube. Come on then. I don't know if you could hear that was next door Jesus. <laughs> Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh my gosh. Are you gonna get me? Are you gonna get me? You are, aren't you? I can just tell. You've got the face of someone who's gonna get me. <laughs> oh my gosh, that was amazing. 
Oh, Good job. That was a great pounce, but now you are completely <laughs> stuck. <laughs> are you okay? Do you like it in there? I'm going to come out. You pull. Roll. Roll the cat. <laughs> Silly boy. I think he'd happily just stay wrapped up in there. To oh, I think he was happy. Look at his little tired face. Yeah. Are you happy there? <laughs> Explosion! Oh god, here we go. <laughs> He's just like the most soppy, fluffy, cuddly oh. boy. Adventure! <laughs> Off he flops. Echo's new favourite toy is this box, so I can't remember where this was from. Oh, it was from his order from Zoo Plus, and so I just cut loads of random holes in it. This side's got rectangles, we've got all different shaped holes and squares. And I just loved it. Simple toys are the best toys. When I was speaking earlier about toilet roll tubes, this is one of Echo's many culprits, as you can see. It's had a bit of a hard life. He really likes them. And he rolls them around the house and then he just squashes them to death, don't you? Hey, what's it going through there? Plop. Can you get it? No. You're just happy being the captain of your little box, aren't you? I'll leave you to it then. I'll leave you to it. Also, we always put the cat scratchy post in there so he can get onto the worktop and see through the window. He's not quite got the courage yet to jump from the floor to the kitchen counter and we don't particularly mind. I'm sorry to talk so much about Echo in this video, but he's a big part of my day. I've just cut holes into this box as well, so we'll see if he'll come into here. What's this, boo boo? <laughs> Echo's dead. What do you think? Do you like it? It's got a cat flap. All the rage. Has he gone? Hello. He got a new hidey hole. Oh no, he's pouncing on me. <laughs> Got you were holding hands. How's he doing? Lou. So the day has cracked on and it's about, I think it's five o'clock now, I don't really know, that what that time's always wrong, let's see, just gone five o'clock so I'm going to start making our dinner for us now, we usually try and eat about six o'clock just so that it's over and done with and we've got the rest of the evening to ourselves. So tonight I think I'm going to make us a vegetable curry. So a lot of you have said, well not a lot of you, a few of you said that a lot of my vlogs recently I've been eating a lot of meat. I do feel better eating more of a... <laughs> I feel better eating animal products, which sounds strange but it's true. I do find that I digest them a lot easier. That being said, every now and then I find that having some vegetables or chickpeas is fine. Um, you know, it's just about moderation. So um, today we're gonna have chickpea and veggie curry, <laughs> nothing too adventurous. And I'm feeling pretty tired today. So I think I'm just gonna do a cheating version. I picked this up in, no, not this one. Oh, I really hope. <laughs> I had a bit of a panic then. <laughs> Found it. I've bought a super jumbo mango chutney, so we're not going to be without that tonight. But I bought this, I picked it up from Tesco when I did my weekly shop. I find sometimes having easy options like this are great for if you do struggle with your physical health or like for me it's energy levels and sometimes I just reach the end of the day and I'm like, right, I can't be bothered anymore. But instead of doing something really unhealthy like chips or a takeaway, it's nice to just be able to throw some stuff at a pan and have done with it. So um, yeah, this is just a chicken 
no it's not even chicken so just a tikka masala cooking sauce so i'll throw that in the pan with some vegetables and let it simmer and like i said i got some papadoms as a little treat we don't have these very often so we'll have a papadom and mango chutney starter and then curry as our main meal and honestly i wish i could just fast forward to the end of the day because i'm just so ready to just get into bed and just curl up in a ball and just be like oh i'm done <laughs> all right let's throw some stuff at the pan shall we what is he doing he's literally what's the saying where water can't get let's echo I was sat on the sofa trying to debate what I was going to do with the rest of the evening but to be honest I feel fried like just let me get these out and take it. Ooh, loads of flies. I need to sort out this cabinet really I just feel really tired today I woke up not feeling too bad I don't know if it's the early mornings from Etsy that's been doing it we had a, a late night last night because I stayed up to watch the um, announcement, like I said this morning. I'd love to know what you guys thought about it. Um, I think that it's disgusting how the media treat people these days. I sound a bit snuffly. I wonder if I'm coming down with a cold. I don't know anyway. <laughs> don't mind me just taking my makeup off while I talk to you. Anyway, I was trying to decide what to do and I thought, do you know what? I feel really achy, I'm really tired. And although the idea of running a bath seems exhausting, <laughs> which sounds weird, but let me know if you like, if you can appreciate and understand that. I don't know if it's a chronic fatigue thing, um, but it's just like, at the end of the day, what do they call it, having no spoons left? Like you have an allotted amount of spoons for the day and then when they're all gone, it's like, that's it, can't do anything else. But I feel like running a bath, making the time to make it a nice bath, is gonna regain me some spoons for the rest of the evening. We can live in hope, can't we? So I'm gonna have a nice, warm bath with some candles and then once i'm out i'm just gonna lay on my bed and watch telly i think and just have a nice relaxing evening i think sometimes i mean i've not even really done anything today <laughs> to be honest but it's i think it's important to appreciate your feelings and how you feel going through the day and i think until you struggle with your health it's easy to just keep going i mean i felt amazing last week but this week I'm on day one, well not day one, I'm coming up to day one on my period so it's basically any time now and when that happens it just zaps me of all my energy anyway so that on top of feeling tired in general it's just not a good mixture so I'll share with you what I'm using for my skincare I've got this Elemis uh, makeup remover so I always use that to remove my eye makeup I think it does a really good job and then I tend to use this micellar water by Garnier. 
If you've got any recommendations for what I could use instead, I would love to know. This is cheap and cheerful and all I use it for is just like a first tone of my face so I don't have to use as much expensive skincare. And then I always go in with my trusty <laughs> Elemis Balm. I actually have a really big version so I've got one that's as big as this that I basically just fill this little pot up with so it doesn't take up as much room. I really like this one which is the original. This one smells like a spa but I'm such a sucker for the smell of rose so this is always my go-to. I just love it so much and it does such a great job. So basically just rub it in all over your face. Oh so nice. So I think I will put this on, wash it off and then I'll put another layer on and then just go in the bath and let the steam help it to sink into my face. You can use it as a face mask as well, so I do tend to do that. I hope you don't mind me smushing my face all around while I'm talking to you. Oh, that's the plan for the rest of the night anyway. I'm going to go make myself a nice cup of tea. I might have the rose and lemon one. I think that's the one. It smells really nice. It smells really nice. It tastes really nice. You can tell when I'm cooked at the end of the day because I just start speaking absolute nonsense, right? Get me in this bath. They were in high school when they met and things got kind of awkward with sparks in the air. He would stare at her in class and she would try to act cool. But it was obvious, like, ooh, they would be together, ooh. And one day she said, write me a love song, cause I know you'll make it beautiful. And maybe I'll call you my sweetheart. Promise nobody can steal me away Then I am yours Cause I want you and I wanted you to know So I had a really nice relaxing bath and I feel much better for it though I am really tired today so I mean I was watching When Calls the Heart but I think I might just head to bed to be honest I am absolutely shattered cooked for the day <laughs> i hope you enjoyed today let me know if you did and i know i'm not like a top gardener but if you want to see more content about gardening and just like normal life in my cottage then let me know it's been really fun to share these vlogs with you and i always really look forward to vlogging day because you know on a general on a normal day for me i just spend a lot of time editing or thinking about content to film, um, wrapping Etsy orders and doing a lot of admin stuff. So my vlog days are like my day off, but it's also a day on because I bring you guys along with me. But generally it makes for a much better day for me because I'm trying to create content for you guys as well, which means that I make my day 10 times better than it would have been without you guys. So I'm really happy that I was able to bring you along with me and I hope that you know it brought you some peace and calmness that's all I'm ever after in these videos let me know if there's any videos that you'd like to see from me in the future anything at all I'm always open to new ideas and suggestions uh, but I am really enjoying doing these weekly Sunday vlogs so hopefully you guys are too anyway with that I'm gonna carry on watching this for a little bit and stroking Echo the crazy cat he usually gets a bit psycho at this time <laughs> I hope you have a really great rest of your Sunday and I'll see you all next week. Bye guys. It's a